Hey everybody, Nathan Norman here, Circle S Apiaries. I just wanted to go ahead and make a short video on how I'm making my sugar syrup. It's a pretty easy method and it's uh, pretty much foolproof from the way I understand it if you're looking to make two to one uh, sugar syrup. So just get yourself a decent sized bag of sugar and I believe this is just a standard pot. And you just go ahead and take the sugar start dumping her in. The trick is, from what I understand, you want to fill the sugar up and make sure you have it to a reference point to where you can put the same exact amount of water into. So this is pretty, pretty close to that level, I'm thinking. I'm trying to get it up to these, these little bolts here where the, where the, uh, the handles are put in. So just give it a shake and I could probably add just a little bit more sugar, which I will. So there. Let's see where it's at. Shake. And then you want some hot water. Obviously this was just boiling. I just took it off uh, three, four minutes ago, so it's super hot. But the trick is you want to put as much water into the sugar um, as it's dissolving to make sure that that water level reaches the same point as your sugar was before you put the water in. And that will ensure the correct ratio that your, sh your syrup is um, 2 to 1, which is what I'm looking to do right now. So I'll go ahead and dump some of this water in, hopefully if I can pick it up with one hand without burning myself, and start pouring it in. And I'm spilling a little bit, but I don't think my wife will mind too much. So there I have it up to that level, and as you can see, as it's starting to dissolve, that water level will start going down a little bit. And I'm just going to get a spoon here and get some air bubbles moving so it takes up a little bit more of that water. Keep on mixing it. And you can hear it dissolve, and you see how that water level's already gone down? So I'll need to add a little bit more water to this to make sure that the ratio is correct but it's pretty simple and you just keep on stirring it until you get it nice and uh, dissolved you can see it's pretty thick right now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more water in that I don't need much I don't need much more that should be good that should be just about the right level I'm looking for and so at this point as well I can go ahead, as soon as I get it dissolving to the point I, I'll try to keep it off the edges and sticking. It's hard to do with one hand. You just keep on moving it around and getting it dissolved. Get it off the bottom. Now it's starting to move a little bit freer. You just want to keep it suspended in the water while it's dissolving so it kind of dilutes equally there we go that's about the consistency we're looking for and as you can see that water levels pretty close I can add I'm gonna add just a little bit more a little bit more of that that should be about right and then I'm also gonna add a little bit of this honeybee healthy or be healthy. It's just it, it's a brood uh, brood booster and feeding stimulant. I'm not going to use as much as I used last time. I think I actually overdid it a little bit. So what you're supposed to do is use, I believe it's 0.5 milliliters. Yeah, it's uh, either 0.15 or point. I think it's 0.15 for every 24 ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. And that should be about all I need in there is just that little amount because I've already put it in there once. I don't want to overdo it. Just start stirring that in and that just has the, you can smell it's a lemongrass oil and there's other uh, natural oils in it that the bees need to help move digestion along and, and stuff like that. And it stimulates the brood as well. So you just keep, just keep stirring it and stirring it until uh, it starts clearing up a little bit. 
that's basically it. It's really easy to do. So I'll keep stirring this, but I'm planning on taking this out to Circle K today, and you don't want to let your syrup sit for more than a week, I guess. Um, it's kind of a good rule of thumb to clean out whatever you're using and and put new syrup in, and kind of helps against uh, you know them getting stomach problems and digestive issues and stuff like that from mold growing in your sugar syrup. But that's basically, that's basically it. You just keep stirring it and when it cools down it'll, it'll start to uh, clear out a little bit. It's, it's dark right now because that sugar's, or it's cloudy because that sugar's dissolving like it should be. But that's about the consistency you want. Pretty simple, but I just thought I'd show you, you guys. So if you're gonna get into beekeeping, you you might need to think about having some extra bags of pure granulated cane sugar laying around because that's what you're gonna need to feed them. You don't have to buy the stimulant, the the brood booster, the be healthy that I bought, but I just wanted to see how it worked and give it a try. And if I see some benefits from it down here. Then I'll definitely use it up in up at Circle S, up in Galena here this weekend if if I get my bees. Hopefully I'll get them this weekend. So, and this one's almost it's getting there. It's starting to uh, clear up a little bit. But that's about it. Thanks for watching.